Hey everyone. Hey Nick. Uh, guys, thanks for uh, taking a second to watch this video. Um, I wanted to introduce you to a guy that I've known for a couple months now that I've met recently at a conference and it's just rare in this industry that people come highly recommended and someone comes and grabs you and says, hey, you got to meet this guy. And, uh, most of the time for me, it ends up not being worth someone to meet, but immediately I could tell that Nick and I, yeah, right, we, we were talking the same language, so we invited him to come out to DFW Investors. He's going to be there on Monday, the 12th of June, to talk about ways to legally uh, pay less in taxes and protect your wealth and your, your family. So uh, I asked Nick if we could just hop on a quick little video conference to uh, get to, let him get to know you guys, let you guys get to know him, and uh, hopefully get everybody kind of primed the pump, the pump, so to speak, for Monday night. So, Nick, thanks for the time, bud. Yeah, thanks for uh, for having me here. Of course, uh, you know we have a network of investors, so they're equally curious. Uh, my investors are always looking for collaboration sources, good places to go to, good people to work with, good resources to help them move down the field, so to speak, as potential investors or existing season investors. So I love the fact that we matched up. Now, one of the things I've got clients all over the country and uh, they're flocking to some hot markets and of course DFW is a hot market um, and it there's no signs of that changing anywhere in the near future so you know I go out there and we put out surveys out to our people and say hey what's of interest to you find somebody in that area that we could come in visit access resources collaborate do business with that we can move our progression as an investor forward and increase our, of course, net worth. That's the end of the game. Right. And so we met. And so uh, my people are curious to know a few different things. And so I've got some questions that got submitted, and I put a couple of my own. So I am actually going to turn the tables and ask you some questions if I can. Um, first of all, uh, curious minds want to know about REI 2020. What is it that you offer to investors? You know, so I'm one of those interesting people that got involved in this business through a real estate investment club here in Dallas, and I just always met people that were all that were willing to lend a helping hand and could introduce me to someone or could help facilitate a transaction. So, and, and I won't bore you with my long story, but it, you know, I, I didn't come from a whole lot of my in my upbringing, so. I needed help and needed resources and it needed some guidance. Um, so it just, it helped me be successful. And uh, I've always just been just super big into networking. Well, and so I had things like I owned the REI Expo. I started that. I was part of a lot of Homevestors National Development stuff. And when I met people, they'd say, well, what do you do? I'm like, oh, well, I mean, at the heart of it, I buy houses. But I also this and I also that and also this. So uh, in 2013, I was uh, plucked up from my entrepreneurial roots by Blackstone and ran a company for them for two years, helped start B2R Finance. And uh, just in 2015 in the summer, I decided that I was going back to my entrepreneurial ways and I needed a platform to kind of rest my reputation and name on that was all about the ecosystem that I love. And I, I just, I love the single family investment ecosystem, the, the space that the customers are fun to be around. They're loyal. They do a lot of business. Uh, the business itself has made me and my family a lot of money. Uh, so we formed 2020 REI really just to be this ecosystem of products and services companies and really not even companies, divisions to where the investors, you know, you need financing on almost every house, so we do that. You need to find a house, so we have a real estate brokerage to do that. We you need insurance on a house, so we have an insurance brokerage to do that. Uh, we have a consulting department for those that kind of want to customize business plan. We actually buy houses on our own accord still. So, uh, I mean, 2020 REI is just a collection of products and services company that you know, it's kind of funny. It's every business unit has the exact same customer. Uh, and they all think alike, even if it's an accredited investor putting a million bucks into a PPM or someone that the $10,000 that they're putting into a flip is like super important to them. It's uh, 
it's it's kind of unique. They all seem to think alike. So yeah, we I, didn't really put everything into one package where it was easier to understand. I totally agree. So is that what you would say makes you guys different? Is that you have a network that has the different resources under one roof, so to speak, so that investors can get piece out the different things that they need and have that access. Is that? I, I think it's that, but it's also it's there's a lot of what we've created is it's third party. Um, we don't only sell our houses. We don't only sell houses we're going to manage. We don't only sell houses that we rehab. Uh, and that's been missing in this industry still, frankly, other than us. I don't know a whole lot of people that do it because if you go into blank and blank realty or blank and blank home services that specialize in this, typically they have the house that they bought at a discount that they rehab with their contractors, that they lease to their tenant, that they're managing with their management company, and they're telling investors, oh, yeah, you should buy this. It's a great deal. It's like, eh, I'm not sure you're quite objective enough to tell me it's a great deal. Uh, so that's, I spent this morning with our real estate agents down the hall just explaining to them, you have a, they're in a powerful position with this customer base because they are licensed third-party representatives that are, you know, they're, 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 their entire credo from the state of Texas is to protect the interest of the public. And, uh, you know, when I bought my first investment property 15 years ago, it was off a for rent sign nailed to a tree, and there was no one really that helped me with the transaction. So uh, I, I think the thing that makes us, and even the money we lend, it's not my money. We have lenders that come to us from across the nation and ask us to loan their money for them. So what we find is if we can help Nick get the best loan on 123 Main Street and Nick doesn't have to go through all of the, the, the shake and bake that is lending and, and we can do that for him, uh, then the next time Nick gets an opportunity, Nick's going to bring it to us and we can just go out and look and see what we can get Nick now because we know these investors at certain times their credit score may be low because they use their credit cards to rehab a bunch of houses. At certain times their liquidity may be low because uh, they've got it all tied up in a major project and they just invested in a PPM or the, they were selling a multifamily property that they're getting a 10. I got a guy that was had a five, $5 million sale that was pending and he needed a three-week bridge of $150,000 to get a deal done. I mean, you're talking about someone that literally has a net worth of like 25, 30 million bucks, and he needed 150,000. So, you know, that's what the lending company, it's, I tell everybody we're capital agnostic. I really don't care where the money comes from as long as it works with the customer. And I teach the salespeople down there, make a lower commission because that means the customer will just keep coming back to you and back to you and back to you. And I tell people all the time, and I, I love this, like it's super cool to make money while other people are achieve their goals. I mean, it, it, it just, it's, it's gratifying profitability. Uh, so, I mean, I think that's really what makes us different is so much of it is arm's length and you don't find that in this industry. Yeah, I would have to agree with you. I think that number one important thing to anybody making a purchase on any property is being able to be governed through that whole process. To have good stewards that are doing the right thing by them, that you know, don't look at it as hitting a home run, you know, like they've got to go make all their money on one transaction. They're into relationship building. And, you know, I see that the people that do that and focus on that are the ones that do the best. I mean, that, that those relationships last and last and last. Well, it's kind of funny. So like at the event on Monday, you'll notice that we have a hard money company and there's three or four other hard money lenders that are there. We have a real estate brokerage company, and there's three or four other real estate brokerages that are there. We are wholesalers, and there's a bunch of other wholesalers. So, because I, I believe that my companies, if you're exposed to a bunch of other companies at our event, you don't have to pick our company to be successful. I think that we built the best, and I think that we can win in a competition of, you know, trying to get a customer. But, you know, Billy the buyer may not like the way. Uh, uh, you know, Angie, Angie, the agent talks or, you know, and they may pick the other person. So it's all about options. It's all about, there's no exclusivity. We don't, you know, I think it's, it's this, this community is big enough. There's enough transactions. You don't need to be greedy or tricky to get business. 
you know, one of the things that um, I would like my guys to know, and I think it's important for anybody out there thinking about attending an event, is what is the value of actually physically showing up and attending one of the RIA meetings, that they actually get there versus just what they would say pick up from, I know you have a YouTube uh, series that you know we talked about. Of course, people can pick up the phone. But what's the difference of the value that actually comes from showing up at a venue versus somebody that's just, say, networking from abroad or out of state or whatever? You know, I think there's significant risk involved with investing. And uh, there's significant upside, but uh, anyone that ever tells you they've never lost money, I would just say, you know, watch out for that guy uh, or gal. Uh, I don't know. I mean, for me personally, I seem I, I feel like I pay attention better when I'm in person. I feel like I get this interpersonal connection that lets me judge a little bit about someone. Uh, I feel that it makes me go out on a limb a little bit more. Maybe even listen to something that I did. I, I may have been like, nah, I don't really care about buying a foreclosure auction. I'm just here to hear Nick. But if you're already there, you kind of go ahead and listen to the guy talking about foreclosure auctions, and you, and you either pick something up or you may like it just expose you. So I think it's just all about exposure. Uh, you walk through the trade show hall and you see this IRA company or this property management company. You, see a company you've heard on the radio and you're, you go over and like make a personal relationship with someone. I think it's just, uh, you don't, there is no way to adequately convey all of the opportunity. We have like 30 vendors that show up. Uh, there, there's an open bar for those of that, that may be motivation enough. Uh, you know, popcorn. Now it's going to be standing room only. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, there's a popcorn machine, right? Like, there's nothing like the smell. Oh, jeez. Oh, now, now you done it. You, you <laughs> beer and popcorn. <laughs> uh, you know, some months we have a little cigar lounge out front. I think it's all about just trying to build a community. So, I mean, look, it's the people, the, the, the sights, the smells, the sounds, and just the the stimulation from being around other like-minded individuals. I won't go all biblical on you, right? But like there's there's something from being a part of a community that are all kind of trying to accomplish the same thing. I think that's pretty powerful. It's never quite the same. I mean, I know when I go, when I actually have to physically go somewhere, you pay more attention. And I always tell people go trying to pull, if I could pull one nugget, if I could pull one thing out of it, it was worth my time. You know, I, I go to some of these things and just try to pull one thing that I can use that I didn't know, and uh, and that, that's what makes it valuable to me as well. You know, that's a good point because it's always that conversation that you end up in that you did not plan to end up in. Mine and your conversation at the Think Realty Expo, right? It, it was, it's, I was there to talk about the Iceberg Report, which is this industry-wide survey and analysis of the single-family investment space. And David Lang or someone came up and said, hey, you got to meet this guy. And it's that one little two-minute conversation. I think I was on my way to the restroom or something. I'm like, oh, my gosh, i got to run. But it's that one little conversation that opens a door that either was closed or, frankly, that you didn't even know was there. So, absolutely, you know, that's probably the best way. Or, the, little or the person the person sat next to you. Yeah. I mean, I've had times where I'm sitting next to a guy, and it's unfortunate, but, you know, you go through these things – you know, for a couple hours, and you never talk to each other. Then all of a sudden, there's a break. Hey, what do you do? Hey, what do you do? And next thing you know, you're doing a deal together, or you have something. You know, you were looking for that, or you came there. I mean, I, I believe that the more that you hang around good people, like-minded people, that uh, you know, you all have, you're kind of going in the same direction, and people have like, like ideas to help each other out, and looking for. You know, they're looking for things that you're offering, and you're offering things that they're looking for. So it's a good, it's a good match. When is the next venue coming up? When is the next meeting? Uh, our meeting is Monday, June 12th. Uh, and where is that at? It's at the Addison Conference Center in Addison, Texas. Um, it's it's really big venue, pretty easy to find on Addison Road. 
um, just north of Dallas, Fort Worth. Uh, well, it's in Dallas, Fort Worth, just north of downtown Dallas. Uh, I believe it. I'm speaking from 5:30 to 6:30. I'm teaching a class I call Baseball for Real Estate. It's all about building a team around you and uh, uh, kind of some of the principles like you can strike out by watching, not just swinging. Uh, you know, because there's a lot of opportunity in Dallas right now. If you stand here and watch, uh, you know, you look at these windows right here. There's a multifamily building just sold for 4.3 million bucks that traded for a couple years ago for 3.6. Right? It's, you can you can sit here and look at that building all day long, and you're missing and you're striking out because you're not partaking. Um, and you know, building a team, uh, and then little things like watching the tapes. You know, learning how to go back and look at past performance and improve future results. Uh, so I'm doing that from 5.30 to 6.30. My partner, George, is teaching a tool belt, I think. Uh, there's another class. It's a 30-minute class from uh, like 7 to 7.30. And then at 8 o'clock, this guy named Nick, uh, Nick, 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 Nick Fortune from uh, the Fortune DNA group is going to be speaking on, uh, I think, how to stiff Uncle Sam. Is that the, is that the title? <laughs> how to stick it to the IRS. Yeah, uh, so we're going to be going over a uh, lot, of, lot of things. There's a lot of questions going on out there. People don't know with the tax law changes, how is it going to affect them in their regular life? How is it going to affect them as a business owner? How is it going to affect them as an investor? Uh, they're talking about what happens if you can't deduct property tax. If certain deductions go away, there's about 138 deductions going away, uh, 55 tax credits, 30 new taxes. Unfortunately, the people that should be talking about it, your professionals, aren't. Um, of course, they stand to make the most from it when you have issues and you're paying them extra money to solve issues or you're getting audited. And uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to talk about all that. We we do we will be talking about why your CPA is probably your number one liability. We're going to talk about how important it is that you have a company that you work out of with agreements that are tailored made to the specifically to the way that you invest how to get access to capital and do things right run your business properly stay off the red you know the red hot target list for the IRS all while learning how to buy and sell real estate tax free so we're going to talk about all that and much more so we're looking forward to joining you and uh, I really do appreciate you uh, taking this time out uh, to get this. I, I know this is valuable. Guys, watch this thing. Uh, what we'll do is we'll put a link in here if people want to attend. Click on the link. It'll have all your uh, details for contacting you as well as how to uh, reach the venue. So Monday the 12th, 5 o'clock, get there early. We're already, we're almost packed. So get get your tickets now. Uh, you, you might, yeah, might that's have right. space. Yeah, that's right. It's free uh, until uh, we, we get to a certain point where they cut it off and you got to pay 10 bucks to get in. So okay. yeah, register in advance. Let us know you're coming. Get your tickets. we got to shut it off at 500 because of the fire code stuff. Uh, but, yeah, Nick, I mean, it's, I'm looking forward to seeing you. I, I'm personally interested in hearing what you have to say. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. And uh, uh, I guess I'll see you in, what, four days? Yeah. Hey, Tim, thanks for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, man. Have a great day. All right. We'll see you. All right. Bye-bye.